Hey guys, welcome back to another video review. This time, we have the Mythic Legion's Golden Skeleton Legion Builder. On the back of the package, we have a few lines of text on the lore of Mythic Legions, and a few pictures of other figures. On the side of the package, we have no lore, just two pictures of the Skeleton Legion Builder, a regular one, and a gold version. And just like all other Four Horsemen figures, the figures come in a collector-friendly package, easy to take out or put back away. Here we have the Golden Skeleton Legion Builder. Four Horsemen Studios sold these as a generic figure for army building. They come in an original or golden paint scheme. The golden version also includes golden accessories. So let's take a look at some detail. Here we have a very nicely sculpted skull. The gold really brings out the detail in the sculpt. And on the side we can see some cracks in the skull, along with the rough texture. The gold shines very nicely. Underneath the skull, we have a skeletal neck joint. It's just a nice little detail in the sculpting. The chest uses the same body armor used by most other figures, with a single tone of gold paint. The back has more of those big peg holes in the back. We'll be covering this area up with some golden shoulders later. On the shoulder, we have some nice plate armor layered over each other. The sculpt under the armor reveals a skeletal arm. We have a minor bit of paint chipping, but nothing too noticeable with the naked eye. The gauntlets have a nicely detailed sculpt, the gold really brings out the details. The skirt armor hangs down in golden plates attached to each other with rivets. Not much complex detail in this sculpting. The side of the skirt has large plates that cover up most of the figure's skeletal legs. It also has a nice simple design sculpted onto the side. The skeletal thighs have some of that same rough texture you can find on the other bones. The gold really shines on the smoothed ends. The boots are very nicely detailed in the sculpt. The simple gold paint job on the boots really makes the sculpting stand out. Let's take a look at the articulation. We have a ball jointed head, a shoulder with armor made of soft plastic so you can open and rotate, a bending and rotating elbow, a rotating forearm, and bending and rotating wrist. We have a ball jointed waist, we have really great thigh articulation with a ton of range. A bending and rotating knee. And finally, ball jointed feet. Our golden skeleton comes with a pair of matching golden shoulders. They have a peg hole to attach to the back. The shoulders easily pop into place by connecting the peg hole into the socket in the back. We have a very customizable two-handed axe. It's painted gold in a dark gray color. You can swap out the spike for another axe blade, or replace the points with each other. They all fit tightly and stay the way you configure it. We also have a two-handed sword in the same gold and dark gray color the two-handed axe came in. And a small dagger in the same color. And lastly, we have a belt that all the figures come with. It won't fit with the shoulder armor on, and it doesn't have the gold paint, so I wouldn't equip it anyways. The Skeletal Legion Builder is a very fun figure. It's loaded with accessories and has a very nice solid gold paint scheme, and the same quality we have come to expect on the Mythic Legions, but at a reduced price. The Army Builders do cost slightly less, but have less detail in the paint. Other than some minor chipping near the shoulder, you couldn't really tell that this was a generic Army Builder figure. One of the really nice features is that you can mix parts from each other figure. Here, I use some of the gold armor on Pixis, giving him a golden skull and shoulder armor. You can swap out the other limbs too. Four Horsemen utilizes a lot of the same sculpting in their figures, but with really great paint jobs to make them stand out from each other. The Legion Builders are a nice way for collectors to make customs or just army build a ton of generic figures. At a reduced price and also sold in bulk packs, this was a good way to start an army of figures. Personally, I love this figure just for the skull alone. A very nicely detailed golden skull makes for a great accessory, and the golden weapons and armor make for some nice customizing options. The paint might not as be as complex as other figures, but it's a very solid action figure, and I can't wait for the next line of figures. Alright guys, that'll do it for me. Subscribe and like, and more videos are coming soon. Thanks for watching.